Vaccination day. I'm here at Bishan, finally getting my Moderna jab. Today is way too hot, man. Good. Okay. Where do you think of the food? Yeah, Pfizer. Fast I don't know, maybe it's just not a lot of people taking Moderna But it's really really very fast I'm like out in like what, 15-20 minutes Hey guys, today is day two of recovery. For those that are curious, I did PPM, so Pfizer, Pfizer, and Moderna. First day was bad for me. So two days ago, I did my jab around 4 p.m. I slept pretty late the day, lah. So by 1 a.m., I was like super tired. Yeah, my body was so ready to crash. And I slept around 4 plus a.m. I woke up because I was freezing like mad, I was shivering and all. I'm not sure is it because of the booster or maybe the aircon is too cold, but I was definitely feeling quite shitty. I woke up around 7 plus 8 again. By the time I woke up, my body was just like achy. Yeah, I was experiencing, I think, a bit of fever, body ache, headache, like all together. I seldom fall sick. So when that all happened, it was quite, yeah, I was feeling like crap lah, basically. The first day, I pretty much just rested a lot, drank a lot of water, coconut water also, and I rested quite a bit. The only thing I did was maybe just edit my vlog. Today is day two. I'm feeling great, which is very good because who likes to be sick, right? <laughs> Alright, so this week I just want to share a bit about kind of movies I like to watch. And I'll just share like five movies that you can watch. Uh, for those that just got your booster jab, if you're having a downtime, maybe you can watch the movies I recommend. If you haven't watched them yet. Yeah, so let's get into it. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I love thrillers, psychological thrillers. Yes, I think that is like my top favorite genre because it makes me think a lot and then the plot twist stuffs are just like so mind-blowing. Yeah, I, I love it. <laughs> First movie I'll recommend is the famous Parasite. It's a Korean film. If you haven't watched it, please do yourself a favor. Go and watch it. I totally enjoyed the entire movie. Okay, so this movie won the Academy Award for Best Picture. Before the movie won any award yet, it was in the cinemas, but it wasn't much of a hype. Yeah, and that day I was just like finding some movies to watch lah, and I'm so glad I picked that movie. Sometimes the best experience comes when you don't expect much. So that day I was really not expecting much. I just wanted to watch a movie and then I like, hope it's good lah. So I watched it and by the end of the film, I was like, what the heck? So good, man. Like, People need to watch this movie. Yeah, so this is the top of my recommendation. The struggling Kim family sees an opportunity when the son starts working for a wealthy Park family. Soon all of them find a way to work within the same household and start living a parasitic life. It's very, very good. Highly recommend, go and watch it. You'll love it. Yeah, if you don't, don't tell me. <laughs> I watched this a couple of years ago. It's a Japanese movie called Confessions. So basically this movie is about how a grieving mother tries to seek revenge because her daughter got killed. What makes it so interesting is that, this is not a spoiler by the way, she is a teacher and then those who are responsible for her daughter's death are actually her students. But because of the juvenile law, she cannot do anything to get back at them. Yeah, so she finds her own ways, her own methods to sort of get back. And I think this show is just like haunting but very good. They use one of Radiohead's soundtrack and it's just like, you know one of those, like those scenes where it should 
feel creepy but they play something happy they kind of use that contrast in that movie and i really like it the way they display haunting emotions are just like very good next movie i watched it recently and the main character of this movie is none other than will smith one of my favorite actors this movie is called king richard so it's about venus williams and serena williams father how their dad is the tennis coach and basically their life coach and he's a man full of positivity like since the start he already knew that they were gonna be world champions at the end of the day they really became like the top two best tennis players since venus williams became the first african-american woman to win in the open era see after i watched the whole movie i just felt like it is very important to surround yourself with people who believes in you i think it applies to all of us your social circle is extremely important because you spend the most time with them your family members so it's good to surround yourself with positive people to push you with whatever that you're doing you know they can inspire you they can motivate you i think all these little things make a huge difference when you are chasing a dream or a goal next up another one by will smith the pursuit of happiness yeah it's another feel-good movie and so basically his life is in a mess his marriage is crumbling down uh, so this guy is like doing his best for his family thinking that oh like what he's doing is is good for the family but then again he fails and he fails it's just like a streak of bad luck and how he deals with that is very important i guess it is another movie for us to reflect how sometimes when we face with like uh, adversities and all our mindset is damn important once the way you see things change if you get to see the positive side when you're at a negative situation i think um, shifting your perspective definitely will help you in navigating through your situation okay last one this is a china film one of my favorite romance movie i also like watching romance film but not so cliche ones like. i quite like this one because i think the cinematography is great and the way they portray emotion using colors is just the story is uh, two strangers met on a train and form a bond that evolves over the years after separation they reconnect and reflect on their love for each other i don't think i'll explain much for this movie you can go and watch it uh, on netflix it's on netflix it's called us and them you can watch the trailer first and see if it intrigues you it's quite an artistic movie to portray uh, love and a very realistic approach when it comes to love a lot of romance movies portray a very fairy tale side of how love is actually like it's very refreshing and very thought-provoking Ho Lai the Woman, Us and Them, go watch it The theme song is by Chen Yixun This song is called Woman It's very moving, you should go and listen So I hope you guys enjoy it Here are my top 5 movie recommendations for you guys Do let me know if you like the movies I've recommended And also I'll really appreciate if you guys can recommend me some more movies That you think I may like And if i do watch them i'll let you guys know and do like a, a sort of a review also so yeah till the next time i share more movies with y'all Thank <laughs> you.